mommies, daddies, guardians, and primary caregivers. I am Dr. Tippi Sumpaikotanchanko, a med mom, and this is Special Moments with Doc Tippi. Join me as we learn about various topics concerning developmental and behavioral conditions and find ways of dealing with them. Welcome to our special episode today. Hello everyone! Welcome to our channel. I'm Dr. Tippi Sumpaiko Tanchanko. I'm a developmental and behavioral pediatrician. I also teach in the Ateneo School of Medicine and Public Health. Um, I am a mom of three teenagers and I would say that they are actually my best teachers in the field of child and adolescent development. No? Um, as a developmental pediatrician, I'm actually a staunch advocate of children children and adolescents and individuals with special needs. I'm a believer that there are ways of helping them achieve their full potential and we need to advocate for their needs. We need to advocate for their acceptance and inclusion in society. Okay, so people have been asking me why start a channel? Um, for children and families with dis developmental disabilities. So maybe let me begin by saying that I am a firm believer of people and I believe that people can reach their full potential if you give them ample opportunity, if you provide that nurturing environment for them. And the same is true for children with special needs. So we begin by educating parents. We begin by educating mommies, by educating daddies and their primary caregivers because these people would surely love our children with developmental disabilities and they will do their best to provide the best for their children. So we just want to journey with them and provide that space of comfort and provide that space of knowledge so that they can help themselves and their children. So let's begin with our first topic for today. Uh, and this is something that really excites me. Because we cannot diagnose a child to have a disability if we don't have a solid grasp of what is normal development. So today, let's talk about normal development. So, sino po ba sa inyo merong mga anak? Ako po, tatlo. Diba? So, have you ever wondered if your child were developing at par with age? Minsan ba tinatanong nyo, um, sakto ba yung development ng anak ko? Or baka advance yung development niya? Or yung iba parang maari bang parang, oh medyo kinakabahan yata ako ha? Kasi parang hindi pa siya nagsasalita. So, important po na matignan natin or masilip natin kung ano ba talaga itong normal development na to. So, children from the time they are born will develop new skills. They will grow in height and weight. And yung mga skills po nila, makikita nyo rin, from something very simple to something very complex. It's, it's actually a wonder watching them do new things every day, lalo na when they're very young. Bawa one minute, hindi pa sila nakakadapa. And then the next minute, nakakadapa na gumagapang, tumatayo, tumatakbo. Diba? So, yun po yung mga things, mga skills in development na maari nating ma-observe. Now, they say that development is actually an interplay of a person's genes, a person's environment, and a person's experiences. So, let's talk about genes. We are born with our genes. Ito po yung namamana natin mula kay mommy, namamana natin mula kay daddy. Kaya minsan nakikita natin, di ba? Uy, matalino yung bata. Kanino kaya nagmana yan? Ah, kasi genes yan ni mommy or genes ni lola or ni lolo. So, yun po yung genes. Namamana siya from one generation to the next generation. It's a factor in normal development. On the other hand, important din po or equally important yung context kung saan nabubuhay itong mga genes na to. And we talk about environment and experiences. When we talk about environment, that actually includes good food. So yung nutrition is a very big factor when it comes to development. We talk about that special relationship between primary caregiver and the child. Yung bond nila is actually important because it's a protective factor for children. We talk about opportunities. So, giving them schooling is actually 
helpful for their development. Or makikita natin, are children allowed to play? Because play gives us experiences that can actually hone their language. It can hone their socialization skills. It hones their motor skills. No, So, these are opportunities in the environment, in their experiences, that will also help nurture the child's development. Now, there are some principles of development that we need to remember. Uh, first principle is that it is actually brain-based. You need a normal brain for development to proceed normally. So, if there are some kids who are born with, let's say, a very small brain or meron silang tumor, kailangan po natin talagang i-monitor yung development nila, no? Kasi, uh, makikita natin, minsan, hindi optimal yung nagiging development nila because the brain development is not uh, normal. Another principle that we will see is that development will proceed from head to toe. So, makikita nyo, pag ang bata, bago siya makapaglakad, kailangan maganda muna yung head control, maganda yung pag-control niya sa trunk niya, bago siya makatayo, bago siya makalakad. So, yun po yung nakikita natin. Tapos, makikita din po natin, uh, isa pong another principle in development, um, meron pong sequence na sinusundan ang development. Uh, para sa lahat ng bata, pareho po itong sequence na to. From a more simple task, to a more complex task. Ganun po lagi yung sequence nila. Ang nag-iiba lang sa bawat bata ay yung rate of development. Kaya, merong ibang bata na maagang nagsasalita, merong ibang bata maaga naglalakad. So, iba-iba yung development nila, yung rate of development. Pero, importante po na it is within that normal uh, given time. So, meron po tayong mga milestones na sinasabi na kailangan nating bantayan kasi for a particular age, meron po tayong particular skills na kinakailangan ma-attain ng bata para masabi na within normal pa rin po yung development niya. So, pinag-usapan po natin ng normal development, ano? Meron pong ibang pagkakataon. So, there are some times, however, when a child's development might not be at par with age or might not be kung ano yung inaasahan natin. And importante po, natandaan natin na kung meron tayong mga concerns about our child's development, if meron po tayong parang kutob na, oh, bakit hindi pa siya nagsasalita or bakit kaya hindi pa siya naglalakad or nakikipaglaro sa kapatid niya, kailangan lang po nating tandaan that we need to go back to our pediatrician and ask our pediatrician to help us assess the child to see if we will need further assessment and if our child will go for further intervention. Okay? So, tandaan lang po natin yon. Pero, lagi rin po natin tandaan na lagi po tayong umaasa, we're always hopeful, na yung children po natin tuloy-tuloy yung pag-develop into the best version of themselves. Okay, so that was our topic for the day. Thank you for joining me. If you have questions and comments, feel free to drop a note in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like it and share with your friends. You can also subscribe to our channel if you wish to learn more about the topic. Hope to see you again in our next episode. I am Dr. Tippi, a med mom thankful for the special moments that truly matter to us. Remember, every moment is special and should be cherished. Have a great day.